Sorry, just watching the sort of final 15 minutes there, Charlie, there seems to be a really good energy about the team at the moment following the result on Saturday. Yeah, training's been bright. I think, you know, I think if you was to speak to the players, they feel like we're in a good place. They feel like there's progression. They share everyone's frustration because they believe they should have more points on the board. I give them plenty of opinions. I give everyone a say here. You know, me and Junior obviously work closely together and discuss everything. And I, I, I allow the, the players their opinion. So they they share everyone's frustration. They, they, they feel we should be doing even more and, and better. And, and I like that. I, I like that we're all on the same page with it. There, there's more in us. Um, and we're all working hard to try and get more out of each other. So yeah. it, We had to Wrexham this weekend who've had a decent start themselves. What, what are you expecting from that game? It's, every game's difficult. Every game, you know, it's a, it's a big club for this level, Wrexham. You know, great, great pitch there, lovely stadium. You know, it's another, it's another chance like it was when we went to Notts County to play on a really nice surface where, you know, we can hopefully play the way we've been playing, but then obviously add to our performances with, with, with more ruthlessness in the final third. That's, that's the target, but... Under no illusions, it'll be a very difficult game. We've had a few sort of knocking about the treatment room over the last few weeks. What's the availability looking like for this weekend? Do you know what? It's it's really unfortunate. It it, it changes daily. Um, one minute I feel like I've, I'm getting one or two closer to being back around it and then have a, a, a small setback. But, you know, what, what I'm pleased about, and, and you know me well enough now that I try and put positive on ev- everything... You know, the, the, the strength and depth that we've shown and the flexibility with the players that we've had, Harry Taylor, Sparksy filling at left-back last week. Difficult game up against McGlasham, but I thought he'd he done ever so well, tried his, tried his absolute socks off for the team. And that's what we've got at the minute, everyone trying to do the right thing. But in terms of getting everyone back fit, you know, it's looking really positive with Mauro and, and Sweens, which will be huge for us. Ricardo's obviously an ongoing uh, management situation that we need to have in place for him, which is, listen, trust me, the boy's frustrated. He wants to be out there on the pitch with his teammates. Um, Elliot's had a week's training. We're just sort of reviewing whether he's close enough or not. But, you know, the only sort of long-term one and I say long term loosely is is Dave Tatonda, who's who's maybe four or five weeks away from his from his hamstring recovering. But everyone else is is getting closer. But like you say, and I'm I'm glad you watched training and touched on it. The mood's good, and that's 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 a positive, real positive. How impressed have you been with the likes of Harry Taylor, Dan Sparks, who have had to fit in, and they they've done a good job in those roles that we're after here. Listen, Sparks, he deserves a lot of credit. Um, for for doing what he'd done. Unfortunately for him on the day, he was up against their most, or one of their most effective players who's just come in on loan, so he was keen to impress. But I thought Sparksy gave his best, tried his hardest, um, and that's all you can ask for, when you, in particular when you're playing in a different position. And Harry Taylor, he's just, he epitomises everything I want players to feel about this club and the badge and the shirt you know he wherever you play him he tries his absolute hardest to do the best for himself the team and the club and he deserves so much credit he's not once questioned or argued the point he just gets on with it he's got a little smile on his face that you know I think he's just happy to be playing and and that's a good quality to have but Harry in particular has been first class from the minute we walked back through the door in pre-season. And just how determined are you personally to get back to it in ways following what was a, an impressive start? Yeah, and I'm not... Listen, we're frustrated. I'm not, I'm not down about it, but I'm frustrated because two wins, two draws and a defeat could easily be three wins and two draws. You know, you can sort of chop it around as much as you want. Um, what I'm happy with is in all games... We've shown enough in all games 
to give everyone encouragement for the for the season. I'm happy we've had a steady start. You know, it was a it was a terrific first week, and then disappointment with the the Dover game and Chesterfield only taking one out of a potential six. But you know, we we're, we're here to win games. I want to win matches. I want to win matches for the fans, the team, the club. You know, the chairman, all of us. I want us to enjoy a good campaign, and this is what we're striving for. So. It's important over these two games in three days, we continue to see progression. Um, obviously, we want to take maximum points. That would be ideal. Um, and that is the target. There's no doubt about it. That will be the team's target, my target, junior's target. So it's important we just continue in what we're trying to do. Obviously, always demanding more that's how we operate we, we always demand more we knew it was a tough August to start the season so far it's pleasing but we want to get better